guys, welcome back to another episode of Modding Halo with Halo Assembly. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be moving on to Halo 2. Um, and in, what we're going to do for Halo 2 is kind of wrap everything up in one video instead of multiple videos. So uh, let's just get right into it, starting out with opening up your map. right? So there's a few differences with Halo 2. And first being is that you can't just open the map, you have to what's called decompress the map. And I'll show you what that looks like. So when you pick a map, right, it's going to give you this error. And all this means is that the map could be compressed. Boom. So right there, right, try to decompress your map, please. Say so cool, continue, go to tools, go to map compressor, hit these three dots, pick your map, and a second and the map provider was decompressed successfully. So this only works though if you are not in like actively in the map. So I will show you. So right now I'm already loaded up on uh uh Metropolis and which is new Mombasa. So if you're already in the map, I'll show you what it looks like when you try to do it, it'll give you this because you're inside the game currently and you, it won't do it. So you can just exit out and you're done. So once it's compressed or decompress, I should say, you can just open up the tag and now boom, you're in. All right, so going into it, we're gonna be kind of covering the same things we did in Halo CE. Um, I'm still trying to figure out a lot of the values that we can kind of do, like trying to import things, import and export things into like the different games and stuff. That's been kind of like a, a hard one to tackle, but uh, I, I just want to go over the same stuff. I just think it's it makes the gameplay of the campaign just a little bit more interesting and kind of switches it up a bit if uh, you can mess around with the tags. So we're going to be covering the same kind of stuff as we did with Halo CE, starting out with invincibility. So what I like to do is just search Master Chief, or just Master, and you're going to go to HLNT, goes to Master Chief, and then in the search bar, just type in cannot die or just cannot it's going to bring up new damage info and the flags right there cannot die from damage give that a click and then i'll give it a poke here at the end i'll give everything a poke at the end uh just because i want to show you the regular gameplay versus modded um okay so then next let's get into like the unlimited ammo insta kill and all that fun stuff so um on Metropolis, because this is the map I'm on, you start out with a battle rifle and an SMG. So we'll just search, uh, search SMG, weapon, pull that up. And then we're going to search magazine. And then what you want to change here to give yourself unlimited ammo is the rounds recharged. Always make sure it matches the round loaded maximum. So just change it to 60. And that's it, you'll have unlimited ammo. And then from there, what I also like to change is uh, the error angle of the weapon. So w with like the machine gun and, and the SMG, you have this minimum maximum error angle, which sends the bullets into random directions. I like to just give it a 0 0.1, 0 0.1 value, just so that way it's, it's basically pinpoint accurate. Now, Another thing about Halo 2 is that when it comes to projectiles, you can't give it a projectile of a vehicle. Um, it doesn't like that. <laughs> and so I'm going to change it to, let's do the beam rifle. That sounds fun. So we'll do the beam rifle. And then with that, right, so now we want to make the, now you've changed your gun, you're invincible, but now you want to activate instant kill, right? So like, all right, so we're going to search beam the beam rifle and you're going to go to the jpt exclamation point for damage okay we'll expand this just a bit and we want to do the impact right beam rifle damage effects impact and you're going to see a damage lower bound damage upper bound under damage upper bound change the minimum maximum you can change it to whatever you want but i usually do 100 it's usually pretty good like a uh, base if you will okay and now that that's changed, it should pretty much be instantaneous <laughs> when killing something or shooting at something, I should say. So from there, let's do uh, like the flying, if you will. So like in Halo CE, we were able to fly around. 
that's not the case with Halo 2. At least I haven't found out how to make yourself fly, but this is the closest thing to it. So we're going to search globals, right? Then go to globals. And then under globals, search Master Chief. Okay. And then under that, it's going to bring you to player information. So under player information, you're going to change all of these values. And that's what's going to change it. So we're going to go and just go nuts here. We're going to change everything to 50. Just kind of see what happens. I haven't done this, so I don't know how the game's going to react to that. But there you go. So you change all those, and you should change. Okay. So let's load up the game. Let's get in there. And then from there, we'll take a look at kind of like this is regular gameplay. Crazy. Cool. Right? Our good old Halo 2. Now, let's go back to the assembly. And we'll start out at the HLMT. Give that a poke. Should be invincible. Give the SMG a poke. Give the rifle impact a poke. And then let's give the globals a poke. Now let's head back in game and check out the difference. Whoa! <laughs> There you have it. it seems my shields aren't recharging. Oh no, there they go. So it looks like you probably up the damage effect on the SMG. This is what I mean, like, it's the equivalent of flying. I think the game doesn't like you moving this fast. And that's why we glitch out a little bit every now and then. That's quite a welcome party. It is quite a welcome party, isn't it? But yeah, so that's how you change all those values. And uh, you can imagine all the kind of fun you can have and what kind of different things you can change things to. So, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the Halo Assembly series. Um, Again, like if there's any other tags you'd like to see changed or things like that, like please let me know. Um, I'm gonna try and keep playing with it and see what else I can find out and push out. Uh, and then I am going to do Halo 3 after this, possibly a Halo Reach. Uh, this guy Crimson already has a great tutorial uh, video set on it. Um, uh, his videos are so in-depth on, on Halo Reach. It's really great. Um, so I, I think I'll just leave that one alone because everything I do know is from him. Um, and then me and my cousin Chris will be starting a Halo modding series probably once I can get the tools and you'll be able to see us mess around with uh, uh, building actual maps and all those things. Just a little bit more in-depth than assembly. And when I get there, we'll... I'll make videos on that too, so that way we can be all, all caught up. But uh, yeah, so thanks for tuning in, and uh, you guys have a good day.